Disclaimer alert. Disclaimer alert. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe. I got an email from Emma, who's the co-founder and CEO of foreveryoungcane.com. She asked me to do a video on how, when, and why should you use a cane. And she so graciously donated some canes. Uh, this is the everyday in black, and this is the fashion cane in purple. One of the biggest things that my, I hear from my patients why they don't want to use a cane is because it will make them look old. Well, on their website at foreveryoungcane.com, they have a whole bunch of different kind of canes with different colors, different kind of bling, which is awesome. So this first cane here is basically a standard cane, uh, straight down here with a little hook and a handle. This cane is gonna be a kind of cane where you just need it for a little bit of balance just to help you with your support so you're not stumbling and falling. But if you need something to actually really take some weight off of your foot, you're gonna need something with a little more support like this. This is a smaller version of a quad cane. Quad canes are actually a little bit bigger than this. They kind of have metal prongs going down. This is kind of what is becoming the more standard because it's not as big and bulky and in your way, but still, if you walk away, it'll stay standing up and it gives you a little bit more support if you're a little more off balance and then just, you know, stumbling every once in a while. So when should you use a cane? Well, the scenario that I showed in the beginning kind of helps give you an idea. One of the biggest things I see with my patients when they're not using a cane is what I call a furniture walker. So at home, they actually do okay because they're in a comfortable environment with their furniture that's around. And so they know that they can kind of, you know, hold on to the couch when they're walking. Their countertop is right here when they're walking. So they feel safe because they know where everything is. But what happens is when they get out into the community, they're not familiar with their environment and they have nothing to hold on to. The other scenario that you saw in the first section of the video is a dog or pet on the ground. So that happens a lot. If you don't have a lot of balance, you're walking through your house and your dog might not even be moving. They might just be lying there, but then you kind of stumble and you can't catch yourself. So these are reasons why you might need a cane or a quad cane to give you some extra balance. If you feel like also your foot's dragging a little bit, sometimes people might not have a lot of strength in their foot. And if you kind of feel like your toes are dragging a little bit, what's going to happen is you're going to catch it on something and fall. If you're walking and you feel like you're changing the way you walk, if you're limping, you're going to need a cane because the more you do this, even let's say I can walk without a cane, you're using muscles in a different way and they're going to become unbalanced muscles and then it's going to make something else start hurting. So if I'm doing this, then I'm working one side more than the other, and then that side's gonna start hurting because it's taking on more of a role than it should. So once you decide to get your very fashionable cane, what you wanna do is make sure that the height of the cane is just at your hip bone here. You want a slight bend in your elbow, but you don't want a big bend in your elbow, and you don't want a no bend in your elbow, so a nice, comfortable bend in your elbow. I'm going to start off with just the standard cane. You want to put the cane on the opposite side of your weak side. So if my right side is weak, I'm putting the cane in my left hand. The cane is going to always follow that weak side. So if it goes forward, the cane goes forward. If it's behind, the cane's behind. And then you're just going into a smooth motion, stepping through, stepping through. Sometimes if you think about it too much, you're going to see people kind of going like this and then stepping through. Our natural gait pattern, our arms swing oppositely. So just kind of let it go with the flow. So you're stepping through, stepping through, stepping through, stepping through. Now if you need a little bit more support where you're getting a pronged cane or a quad cane, it's still the same kind of concept, but you might end up needing to do a step two pattern 
if you need a little bit more support. And what I say, what I mean when I say step two pattern is you're bringing the cane and the bad foot forward, but then you're just stepping to where they are. So you're not stepping through making a full step. You're just kind of stepping to. Sometimes people that might have suffered from a stroke where they need that extra support on that weak side might do better with a step two pattern. But just because you're using a quad cane doesn't mean that you can't use that step through pattern, which you can. So basically what I tell my patients is if you don't feel like you're walking normally, if anything is changing or if you feel off balance, you really need to be using a cane. If you're not using a cane and you end up falling and breaking something, you're going to have to use more than a cane. So I definitely recommend using a cane if you're off balance or if you're weak or if there's lots of things in your home that you might stumble and fall over. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to check out some other videos, go to AskDrJoe.com. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.